Hello and welcome. Today in this easy to follow guide, we'll import publicly available data from YouTube into Airtable using the data fetcher extension. So when you arrive into your Airtable base, you will see the extensions button in the top right hand corner. Select this and then select add an extension. Here you can search for data fetcher in the search bar at the top and that should pop up where you can click on the add button. Now select add extension and that will load up to the data fetcher space where you can create a new data fetcher account or you can simply continue with Google. Fantastic, so now we arrive to the space where we can import our data by creating our first request. So click on this big blue button and then we'll be brought to the following interface. We are going to be creating two requests during this tutorial. So for your first request name, we are going to title it fetch channels. So nice and simple, you just type that in that text bar. And then for the application, we're going to search for YouTube public data. Now we will be requested to create a YouTube public data connection. So if you select this under the authorization section, so now as you can see, data fetcher will ask to access your Google account. And this is just to view your YouTube account. So select the allow button and then this will load where you can see the connection now connected. For the endpoint, we are going to select search for channels as that is what we're going to do. Then you're going to select save and continue in the bottom right hand corner. Now we'll arrive onto the following page where under search query, we're going to add automation simply by typing this. And then for order by, we're going to select relevance. Leave the output table and view as they are. But if you would want to avoid importing thousands of YouTube results, you can restrict the number you import. To do this under advanced settings, so if you just scroll a little bit, you'll find this here, you can scroll down to pagination. Here we can see that the green toggle is switched on to fetch all pages. We're going to simply turn this off and for this example, leave it at the number of pages as one. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. Now, as you can see, the fields are being determined and we will arrive to the response field mapping. This is where you can select which fields you'd like to have imported to your Airtable base. So here we can turn all of these off by simply selecting the filter all. And as you can see, those green toggles turn to gray. However, we would like to include channel ID, title, description. We'd also like to include thumbnail URL. So you can simply search this in the field here and that should pop up where you can turn it on. Then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner. And as you can see, these fields are now being imported to your Airtable. Select show output table and all of that information has now been imported. Here we are going to add another column so that we can add a formula to ensure that we have the YouTube links. So if you select this plus button simply by scrolling over all the way to the right hand side, then you can add the field name URL and we're going to search for the formula. Or again, we can simply type this in the search field option. Once you select it, we'll need the formula which you can find on our data fetcher website under the blog that is titled the exact same as this video. So once you arrive there, the link will be in the video bio. You can scroll all the way down until you find that copy and paste line. So nice and simple, copy it over and then paste it into the formula box. Select create field and now you'll see that the YouTube links are all there for you. Next, we're going to import the publicly available statistics for each of these YouTube channels. So you can close over that extensions on the right hand side if you'd like to see more of your table with the information in it. But we are going to import the publicly available statistics for each of these YouTube channels now. So we will need to create a separate request in Data Fetcher to do this. So to do this, you'll go back over to that extensions option, click on it, and now you'll see that data fetcher request here. We will have to open this up to full screen, which actually happened automatically there, as you can see. And now we can see our fetch channels request that we've already created with all of that information. So over to the right hand side, we're going to select create request to create a new one. So simply click on this blue button. So now we'll need to enter our request name and we're going to enter the name 
fetch channel stats. So once you've done that, you'll search for your application, which again will be YouTube public data. And as you can see, you already have that connection connected. For the endpoint, we're going to search details for one or more channels. And as you can see, when you start to search details, that will pop up and you can select save and continue. On the next screen, under the fields option, select statistics. And then for the channel IDs, go all the way over to the right hand side and click on the add button. This is where we can add a reference to our output table. So if you select the reference to your table, we are using table one in this example and select the channel ID for the field option. So we'll scroll down and find that. Then we can select confirm. So this is now how your channel IDs should look. And once you've done that, you can simply select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and select continue. And again, this will bring us to the response field mapping where we'd like to include the view count, subscriber count and video count, but we don't need the ID. So we can just switch that toggle off from green to gray, then select save and run in the bottom right hand corner and your fields will be created in your air table. Great, so now select your show output table and you will see that information has now been imported automatically all of that data is in your Airtable account via data fetcher. So now we could go one step further by making our records update automatically. So at the moment we do have to manually click the run button for each request to look up the information from YouTube. However, you can combine the two requests into a sequence so that they run together. So over to the right hand side, you'll see the data fetcher extension and we'll just go ahead and make this full screen by clicking on that button. And if it pops open to the fetch channel stats that we've just been working on, you can select back and here you'll see both of your requests. Now, Above these to the right hand side, you'll see that create request option where you can select the drop down menu and click on create sequence. Here we're going to title the sequence. So we are going to title this search and fetch YouTube data. Great. Once you've done that, you can select from the drop down menu, fetch channel stats and then also fetch channels. Once you've done this, you'll click on the save button in the bottom right hand corner. We've now created a sequence that will run both of our requests to search for and import YouTube channel data and their related stats. So now we can take this one step further by making all of these records update automatically. So here you'll see the schedule option where we can add an API key. Now you'll only see it this way if you do already have the paid version of Data Fetcher. So once you go ahead and do that, you can come back to the step where this will now show the add API key button. If you select this, you'll be prompted to find your API key in your Airtable account, where you can scroll down once you arrive to that account overview and select generate API key. Copy this key over back to that input box. And once you have it pasted, you can select save. As you can see, this will automatically turn the schedule the sequence option on. So you can leave it at that and select your interval between the following options of how often you would like your records to be synchronized. Then you can also select the days, which we have all of them automatically selected and select save in the bottom right hand corner. Once that saves, you can close over the window and now you know that you automatically have your YouTube public data being imported into Airtable via Data Fetcher with all of those stats being recorded. Now, if you do have any questions, you can head over to our Data Fetcher website where you can reach out and we'll be more than happy to help. Or you can check out the full length blog in detail on this exact topic there as well. Thank you so much for taking the time to learn today. I really hope you have a good one.